citizens of the Oasis. Like many of you, I only came here to escape. But I found something much bigger than just myself. Are you willing to fight? Might as well jump! This is war. Fight! Welcome to the Rebellion. Ready Player One. Experience it in IMAX, March 30th. I have to say, Lena, you were really fantastic in this fresh, original film. I oh, thought you were you. really good last night in this awesome role, oh, the role so of H. Oh, yeah, so I'm you. just curious, what was your reaction when you first learned that you landed a role in a Steven Spielberg production? Well, um, I was really pleasantly surprised, I think, because I got a call from the casting directors, um, Ellen Lewis, who uh, cast the film along with Leslie Feldman. They they saw my picture and were curious as to why I hadn't come in and read yet. I think it was because <laughs> I wasn't really actively pursuing mm -hmm. a career as an actor. You were actor. busy doing Master of None. I was just trying, well, right? but I was also writing, you know, mm. I was trying to get the shy off the ground, which I, uh, gratefully we did. But um, yeah, so I wasn't really pursuing that. And mm -hmm. they saw my picture, asked me to come in. I came in and read with them. And they were fantastic because I didn't have a script. I didn't know the book. And they, oh, you, you didn't read the book prior no, to that? No, 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 no. So, so no clue about all these characters? I didn't know anything about the movie. Like I had these very cryptic sides. Yeah. Because was, it was top secret. So yeah. oh. and, and, and Ellen and Leslie were great about giving me direction without giving anything away. Um, and so we had a really great time. And then I came back and read again. And then uh, Stephen you know, saw my tape and said, yeah, I want her to be H in the film. And then I got the call from my manager, and so I was blown away and, and just couldn't believe it. And then I went to know, well, can I read the script now, or can I see the book? So, and then I sort of caught up, and so it was a beautiful gift that sort of just kept on giving. It was fantastic. So now, as a kid, were you a big fan of like video games? Did you play a lot of video games? I had the we had the first generation Nintendo. In our I remember house. that. Um, <laughs> yeah. You know, we had to blow on the yeah. cartridges. Um, yeah. <laughs> and it was it took up a lot of our time and, yeah. and as as it, as, it, as it should and yeah. and uh, then I graduated to Sega Genesis and and then ultimately we got a Nintendo 64 uh, so we I definitely went through the different variations of, of early video games but then I realized I was too addictive you know and just it took up most of my days, I was like, you know what, I gotta start this whole writing thing and kind of <laughs> explore that, and I'm grateful I did. But yeah, man, video games can really suck up your day if you're not careful. Absolutely, and when you mentioned writing, I, I can tell that you you have so much passion mm -hmm. for writing as a writer. Yeah. So did you, when you finally had the script and you read your role, mm -hmm. uh, the character's avatar of age, mm -hmm. do you feel like there's a need to revise a little bit for this character of age, or you thought it was no, the way it I was. it was the character was really funny, mm -hmm. um, and I just wanted to really bring um, what I, what I had to it. Um, mm -hmm. And I think Zach and Ernie and Steven did a wonderful job of collaborating and making sure every character really had really interesting moments mm -hmm. and, and uh, laughs. And mm -hmm. you know they would stumble sometimes, but they would always get right back up. So I was really grateful, you know, to, to play this role because it was so layered and so well rounded. And what was uh, your favorite part playing character? This character. Oh H. man, I think the fun part was getting to um, to be like three different people. Mm. You know, I got to be H, which was yeah. like really big, tall guy, yeah. half man, half machine. Then I got to be Iron Giant, who yeah. was like the gentle giant, who was yeah. like all machine. Um, that was fun at the end to watch it. Yeah, it was really fun to yeah. like you know help you know help save the day. <laughs> Uh, the world. Uh, no, the world. The, world. the Oasis yeah. world is that character. Yeah. And then I got to be myself. Which, yeah. You know, I feel like I feel very connected to Helen um, and in the real world. And she dresses a little bit like me, so it's yeah. kind of nice. And what's are you? What are, are you doing next? What's your? What next are we doing next? Mm -hmm. um, well, we got season two of The Shy coming. Hopefully, oh. that writers' room will start up very soon. We're gonna shoot a pilot for a show I wrote called Twenties, okay. which is loosely based on my Twenties. Oh. Gay black girl <laughs> prancing around <laughs> Los Angeles. Oh. Justin Simeon is gonna direct that pilot. Um, and really I wrote a feature yeah. uh, that hopefully Melina Masukas will direct as well. Oh. So, you know, we, we're, we're staying busy. Busy year for staying Lena. Busy. Always. Congratulations always. Thank you so to much. all the great success, Lena. Thank you very much. This is the Oasis. It's a place where the limits.